Let's look at Seif. Seif for the year. Let me make sure I get the same the correct chart here. Here is Seif. Okay, this is Seif since 2023. <laughs> so we are trailing the S and P 500 by about six percent right now um, in Seif. But keep in mind, through last quarter, Seif uh, has outperformed the S and P in ten of the past thirteen quarters. It's not going to outperform all the time. Um, what's happening a lot this year is the money is jumping around from sector to sector very, uh, very fast. So you're not getting this opportunity to jump on a, a two quarter trend of outperformance by any sector and stick with it because the money is churning. But if we go back to see since inception, which is. This looks like inception here. It is. So here's inception for Seif. So basically in the middle of 2020, 13 quarters back, you can see that Seif started to pull away from uh, the S&P 500 right here. This is actually November-ish of 20, um, actually this is uh, the early part of 2021. When I was thinking of November it was right here. If you can see my mouse move, that's when Seif switched to an overweight in both energy and financials and rolled those all the way up until the middle of the, you know, the next year, which was 2021. We caught a nice lead here. We didn't give up as much on the downside during 2022. I think CFA outperformed by uh, 12% during um, 2022. And now this year it's lagging a little bit, but it's still 73.3% versus 45.5% during that 13 week period. So again, keep it in perspective. It's not gonna make money every month. I, frankly, I'm very surprised and pleased that it's outperformed 10 of the past 13, but that's a look at how our models are doing.